do it at school. So when we do our retail, we're going to do it like we always do. We're going to use our own words, of course. We're going to focus on the big ideas, which are always tied to the problem, how you get in the problem, the problem, and how you get out. And then if you think there's important detail, that's character dialogue, what the character says, go ahead and include it. And if you can't remember something, no problem at all. We just reread. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead to our notes page. So we'll use our notes to go ahead and remember what we're saying. So does anybody feel quickly just skim this over, take a look at it quickly to remember what happens on these two pages? Mm -hmm. Yep. Was it great? Um, animal control officer. You're good. Okay, agree, disagree, thumbs to the side. Okay, one, two, three, thumbs up. Yeah, okay, everybody agrees. Um, anybody want to build? Okay, cool. Go ahead, Jordan. I like about how Christopher is. She was also helpful sometimes to people. I agree. Okay, fantastic. Everybody agreed. So let's just find some evidence for that. So what I want you to do now is this is a perfect time to skim when we're looking for some evidence. So we're looking for evidence that Francine was a great animal control officer and that she's helpful to people, okay? So as we skim and we just glance our eyes from top to the bottom, we might be looking for some keywords. So you might be looking for animal control officer, right? As a keyword, mm -hmm. you might be looking for something she about helpful. helpful. Yeah, so go ahead, skim it and thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, Tajay, go ahead and read us the evidence. Um, it says that Francine was an excellent animal control officer. Okay, great. So does that right there prove this here, what we've said so far? Yep, yep, Jamila's like, yes. yep, absolutely. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep it moving then. We found evidence. All right, so we're gonna go to the next page. Take a second to look this over, and when you're ready to tell me what happened in your words, go ahead and put a thumb our own words. Um, Jamila, could you tell us what happened on those pages? What happened on those pages was that um, when Francine was talking to um, Mrs. We can call her Mrs. B. Her name's there. It's like Bissinger or something, but you can call her Mrs. B. Mrs. B, um, Francine Paulette said, what's the address? And then, um, then after she said, after Francine said that to Mrs. B, um, she didn't say nothing back. Good, who didn't say anything? After what? Mrs. B didn't say nothing back to Francine. Okay, after Francine asked, Mrs. B didn't say anything back. Okay, let me start with this. Do you agree, do you disagree, or do you agree with some parts and not all? Let me see, okay, so I got one thumbs to the side. I've got two thumbs to the side. And uh, Jordan, waiting on you, sweetheart. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs to the side. Okay, cool. We got an agree and we got two thumbs to the side. So, um, Tajay, go ahead and tell us why you have thumbs to the side. And then, Christopher, I'll ask you as well. Um, it's like I kind of agree with the first part of, like, when Francine was talking to Ms. B. Mm -hmm. And, like, the rest is, like, when she's talking about how, what is her address and at the Francine asks Mrs. B did didn't say anything. It's not really a part that we need to know. Okay, and why not? I have an idea. The reason why we're including half of it, not all of it, is because that some of it is that it's not the it's not that very big of an idea for us to know about. Yeah. Because yeah, what I do agree. we know about a big idea? Yeah. A big yeah, idea has I to be agree. tied to what? the problem the problem um, right so all of a sudden we have this part why is this tied to the problem give me a thumbs up if you know why the green is a tie yeah christopher go ahead 
I agree because because um because Mrs. B had called up to tell her that um that there was a, a raccoon on her home. Yeah, I agree. A raccoon uh-huh okay great so let me stop here for a second do you guys agree with what christopher said halfway or not okay good jamila yes jordan yes taja yes okay great so a raccoon is on her roof and it wasn't ordinary and then you all said that we can leave this part in right here and Tajay, why can we leave this part in? Because that's what it is mostly about. Like well, go... it's tied to the problem. Exactly. And if it's tied to the problem, what do we call it, sweetheart? Uh, big ideas. Exactly. And then, Jamila, you did a great job. Now, Jamila, why are they telling you let's take this part away? They probably need to take that part away because it wasn't tied to the problem. Absolutely. And if it's not tied to the problem, it's not a what, sweetheart? Big idea. Okay. Good job. So, Christopher, what would you like to add on? She fell out of her chair. So and out. she off her chair. Believe me, Mrs. B had told her the raccoon was on her way. Okay. Did I get that right, raccoon, on mm -hmm. her roof? Did I write it right? Francine yes. fell out of her chair when Mrs. B had told her about the raccoon on her roof. You said yes? Yes. Okay, cool. So now I am going to Jamila. I am going to Jordan. And Tajay, do you look? We're looking at this part right here, just this part. Let me go ahead and put it like that. Do you agree? Do you disagree or thumbs to the side? Let's go ahead right now and let's find, I wanna find some evidence for this. Then yeah. I'm gonna ask Tajay's question, which is good. So just find the evidence where it says that Francine fell out of her chair when Mrs. B told her about the raccoon. Now remember, just give me a thumbs up because I want everybody to have the chance to find some evidence. I want you to read this right here. There's either evidence that this happened or that it didn't happen. Francine fell out of her chair when Mrs. B had told her about the raccoon on her roof. So looking at these two pages, does anybody have evidence that that did happen or that that did not happen? Okay, Jordan, go ahead, read us the evidence you want to. On the page before. Okay. It says that, it says that Ms. Bichester said, this is not your average, rac average raccoon, right? Said Francie, you're not not your average raccoon. She leaned back in, in her chair. Okay. Yep. Bit farther. Okay, cool. So here. So does this evidence, uh, Jordan, you read the evidence. Does this prove that Francine fell out of her chair or does it prove that she didn't fall out of her chair? It it like um says that she was already tipping back in her chair, but she tipped back a little bit farther. Okay. But she leaned back, but but it doesn't say anything about her falling out her chair. Oh, good. Okay, so Christopher, so then there we go. So I love when we fix it based on the evidence, right? So mm -hmm. she leaned back, um, but we don't have any evidence that she fell over. So Nice job together fixing that error. It and just, then, it just uh -huh. said that she took back a little bit farther. It didn't say that she fell all the way out of her chair. Nope. And that's fantastic. That means that we're reading the evidence and changing our mind. And I love when that happens. So I still want us to build on a little bit. Our vocabulary words are going to help us get a, get a better retail, get a little bit deeper. And so I want to see, does anxious, when you're feeling worried or uneasy because you don't know what's going to happen next, or... Uh, horrified when you're shocked about something frightening or terrible that happened. Could anybody just give me a thumb up if you could use one of these two words to add a little bit to our retail? Anxious. I would say oh, one, anxious. Pause for one second. Pause for one second. I just want to see the thumbs because I want to give everybody a chance to think. 
So think about a character that might be feeling horrified or a character that might be feeling anxious, okay? So think about what character that is and why they might be feeling that. Take 10 more seconds. And if you have an idea, give me a thumbs up. Okay, Jamila, I wanna start with you. I would like for you to try to use one of these words. Which of these words would you like to try and use? Anxious or horrified? Um, I think horrified. Okay, so when you're shocked about something frightening or terrible that happened. Okay, go for it, sweetheart. Um, I think that Mrs. B was um, horrified of the raccoon because... Mm -hmm. Keep going. Uh, because I think she never had a raccoon on her roof before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mrs. B is horrified because there's a raccoon on her roof. She has never had a raccoon on her roof before. Okay, so let's take a look, guys. But you put room. I'm sorry, tell me what I did. You put room. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's take a look at this because let's see what we're thinking, okay? And let's start here, okay? So who agrees, disagrees a little bit that Mrs. B is probably horrified? Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. And Tajay, what you thinking? Thumbs to the side. Okay, so we have two thumbs up and we have one thumb to the side. Jordan, I'm going to start with you. You were the first one who said, I agree, she is horrified. Okay, why do you think she's horrified? She's horrified because the raccoon was screaming her name. Okay, so you're bringing evidence in. So let's find that line. Let's find that. Okay, so take a look at this part of the text. And I want everybody to try and find the place where it says that uh, the raccoon is screaming her name. Okay, Jamila, hit it, go. What's the evidence, sweetheart? The evidence is, it say, <laughs> he says, Tammy, he screams my first name. He screams it like, uh, Oh, Banshee. Uh, yeah. A Banshee. Mm-hmm. Perhaps this raccoon is a ghost raccoon. Okay, fantastic. So let's get that different. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try this. There we go. And then let's get just what you said. Okay, so now, my friends, is this good evidence to say that Mrs. B is horrified? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And... Tajay, let me see right in front of your face so I can see, sweetheart. Okay, so fantastic. So I like this because Jordan put the evidence in his own words, and then Jamila found the exact piece of evidence. Based on this evidence right here, Jamila, could you make this part of your, what you said, a little bit stronger? So let me see here. So instead of saying she has never had a raccoon on her roof, what is a better reason why she's horrified? A better reason is, um, is that the raccoon was screaming her first name. Yes, was screaming Mrs. B's first name. Okay, so Jordan and Jamila, you just tag teamed that and you did a great job. We're on the last part of the retail. Fantastic. Um, if you think that anxious fits in here, let's try and use it. If you don't think anxious fits, let's not try and use it. So just take a look at this and see if you wanna, um, if you wanna go, just give me a thumbs up if you're ready. What I would like to add is that she was worried that, she was worried that Francine would it be able to capture the raccoon? Good. was worried that um, Francine wouldn't be able to capture the raccoon. Okay. I would add, like, she wasn't worried because she knew 
that special was a great um, animal control officer. Okay, so who's not worried? Francine. Okay, Francine isn't, isn't, you're saying Francine isn't worried, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so Francine isn't worried. Um, let me just ask Tajay, do you agree with that, that Francine isn't worried? Um, a little. Okay, so let's try and find evidence here. Let me see. Um, find evidence to show whether Francine is worried or she's not worried, okay? You can focus just on this first uh, right here. It say, bring a lap, wait. It say, I see you tonight, said Francine. Being, bring a ladder, said Mrs. B. The roof is very steep and very high. You are not afraid of heights, are you? I'm not afraid of anything, said Francine. What is the one <laughs> sentence? You are right. What you read is the um, right part. No. Pause, pause. Let me, let me get Jamila. What is the one sentence that proves that she's not worried? One sentence is, I'm not afraid of anything. Okay, so let me see, everybody, does that prove that Francine is not worried? Yep, yep, thumbs, 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 thumbs. Very yep. good, okay. Francine wasn't worried because she's what, Christopher? She's... Okay. Use the evidence we just got. Because she's not afraid of anything. Great. Fantastic. Is there anywhere you could go in and replace a word with anxious? You're worried. You're uneasy. You don't know what's going to happen next. Give me a thumbs up if you could replace a word with anxious. Mrs. B was worried that Francine wouldn't be able to capture the raccoon. Okay. And what word do you want me to take out? Weary. Okay, and go ahead and put anxious. Okay, let's take a look. Um, we'll put this in a new color. Ha give me a thumbs up to the side down. Mrs. B was anxious that Francine wouldn't be able to capture the raccoon. Do you agree, disagree, kind of in the middle? One thumbs up, two thumbs up, and three thumbs up.